of today's springtime chores is mowing down. See, I've got a mix of foxtail and cheatgrass and stuff growing in this field. When we moved here, our pastures were almost filled with this nasty grass. And every year, twice a year, so twice in the springtime, I'll do it like right now, it's very end of April. And I do it right now because these seed heads are almost formed completely. So I mow them right now. And then in about two weeks, sometimes only a week, but usually it's a two week time frame, the grass will reset some more seeds because that's what it wants to do. It wants to reproduce itself. So anyway, I will come back out here in a week or two weeks, depending on how quickly it can set heads, and I'll mow it again. And by doing that, I have taken my pasture from being filled with this nasty grass that can choke and kill animals, cause abscesses, you name it, to a field that, look, this little zone, and then look at this. It's, it's really coming along. I know it doesn't look like much. It's not healthy as it should be yet. But it's getting there. We've got alfalfa. Look, this is alfalfa. This is clover. A couple years ago, our field was actually overrun with clover with the cheatgrass, which told me I have a nitrogen problem in the soil, which does not surprise me, considering this has been completely neglected for years and years and years. Prior to us being here, they used it for some livestock, occasionally nothing serious, just like the occasional cow or horse. And then they parked a lot of vehicles out here. So the soil has just been put through the ringer. And for the last seven years, we've ran goats out here. And we tried chickens with the goofballs that keep getting out, which, I knew that would happen because I don't have the proper fencing. We're surrounding it now with the proper fencing and we're actually going to create it so our chickens are going to be on the edge of this whole property pasture. We're going to create a like a chicken run all the way around at least the front and the alongside. This right here, that old Buckville is being taken out and remodeled so it'll be prettier. <laughs> and uh, anyway, just going to keep tinkering with our pasture here, making it better always trying to build it and fix it but I'm thrilled to see alfalfa growing and oh, plantain in here all these good things even dandelions have really come in here and that means dandelions and alfalfa have really deep roots so they're taking hold and they're aerating that soil they're going deep into that soil so it just it makes me so excited to see the good stuff is taking over where this rotten bad stuff is so I used to seriously have to mow almost this entire field. It was terrible. And now I've only got a strip that goes up there and then this little bit here. And then in that middle field, I had to do a little bit of mowing. And that one used to be, just the whole thing used to have to be mowed all the time. And this time I only had to do, I think five or six passes over there. So, all right, I'm going to quit rambling <laughs> and I'm going to finish mowing up all this nasty stuff and on to the next thing. There we go. Just a little bit of time, twice a year, and I'm building a better pasture, safer pasture for my animals. Looks better too. <laughs> but, uh, yep, fight the good fight. Get rid of the foxtail and cheatgrass and all that other fun stuff.